the ODV project is uh, funded by the Demo Wind programme, which is part of the European Union's Horizon 2020 um, funding scheme. And it is looking to develop and demonstrate seven novel blade technologies that will be retrofitted uh, to uh, field turbines uh, and demonstrated in the field. The project is made up of 10 partners from across four countries um, and has a total pro uh, project spend of over 4 million euros, of which the Demo Wind programme is providing 2.4 million euros worth of funding. We are hosting uh, the meeting for all the partners, so they come to Valencia uh, in this, uh, during this week to share the advances on the, on the task development of the agenda of the, of the project. And it's really good to, to have all, them all here and it's, for us it's a, a pleasure to, to host this, this event. FEO is uh, participating in, in this ODB project, Offshore Demonstration Blade project, as a partner in a technological way. Uh, we support the numerical methods, uh, technologies related to computational methods in terms of developing new materials of, for wind turbine blades applications. Uh, we close work with Aerox and uh, Siemens Gamesa on these on this water packages. Our contribution to offshore demonstration blade is an innovative leading edge protection solution which we've transferred from the helicopter industry uh, using nickel plates that have been electroformed to protect the leading edge. And in this project we are contributing with one of our 11 patented structural enhancement technologies for wind turbine blades. Uh, this one is a cross reinforcement called the X-Stiffener. Uh, it is to prevent shear distortion in the, in the main box. Uh, this is to avoid peeling in your bond lines, uh, avoid peeling stresses in the bond lines from your shear webs to the spar. DNO is a research organization and within this ODB project we develop sensors. Sensors are important because if you want to know what the structure is about you need uh, sensor input in order for the models to quantify what is happening. Within this project we develop one sensor, one sensor that's entitled cross-sectional shear distortion and the other one is the erosion sensor. That are both two uh, problems that can happen with the wind turbine blade and with these developments we try to solve this problem. As a wind turbine manufacturer, uh, the noise is an important issue that we need to uh, continuously improve. It. The target of the project that we are developing is to develop new devices that can reduce noise and in this way uh, trying to, in, at the same time, to increase the energy production that we can uh, later on uh, supply to our customers. And this is an important fact because it has some important benefits in terms of energy, but also in terms of uh, healthy, because we can reduce uh, the noise impact on the, of the wind turbines to the, to the wall. The EUDP Demo Wind project uh, to support the other uh, technologies in this project our main contribution is uh, field service experience, being out in the field, knowing uh, the technologies from the practical point of view. Sunel in this project is going to design low drag porter generators that are some devices that are, are to the place of wind turbines in order to delay separation. They have the characteristic of increased also lift coefficient, but they increase drag coefficient, that is the, their main drawback. So Sunel's role in this project is to design low drag porter generator that has has very good characteristic, but decrease drag. In Aerox, we produce coatings and adhesives for the wind industry market. In this particular project, we are developing a coating which is a leading edge protection for the, for the blade. Uh, this product is developed under a technology which is called AHP, Advanced Hybrid Polymer Technology. This technology allows us to modulate the properties of the polymer, which is related to the conditions where the turbine is going to work, temperature, humidity, number of droplets, uh, and or location. In 
ESI Group is an innovative company that was founded as uh, the company of the physics of materials in simulation and today is in a transformation process uh, towards the, the new uh, IoT and uh, high rate twin technologies and for this ESI has selected as a main partner uh, the Cardenal Real ESI Cathedra as a, a key player uh, for this evolution.